I read some statistics that there are 196 countries in this world. And of course, they all have their own rules on who can enter their country, so there are different rules for visa. So if you hold a Polish passport, you can enter 161 countries without actually needing any visas at all. Guess how many you can enter if you hold this little <coughs> Pakistani passport? 29. There is only one country below us in this list, and that's Afghanistan. You know what it means? It means that even a person from Iraq, Somalia, and Syria can go to more countries without a visa than me. No wonder everyone thinks that Pakistan is a dangerous country. <laughs> so as you can imagine, when I came to Poland, I had to cross some hoops to get the Polish visa. But that is a story for another time. Today I would like to talk about the time that I went back to Pakistan for the very first time after spending a year in Poland. I took a flight from Rostov, went to Warsaw, then I took another flight from Warsaw to Dubai. And on this flight, while I was enjoying the nice time view through my window, I decided it's a good time to drink some coffee. So I got some coffee from the stewardess. I was drinking this coffee when suddenly the plane shook very horribly. And I spilled all that coffee. Now, it's fortunate that in the plains they do not serve boiling hot coffee, because I didn't burn myself at least. But I of course spilled it all on my pants, and then I remembered that I put my passport in my pocket. Oh. So I took it out, and I saw that there were some drops, so I cleaned it. Then I took the first page where this is all the important information, so I also cleaned that. And then I thought it's done, so I put it back in my pocket. And the rest of the journey went without any further hitches. I reached my home in Pakistan. I was just looking through passport for some reason and I noticed that it's still a bit wet. And I opened and I looked around and I looked around and I found the Polish visa on which I was supposed to go back after three weeks. And it had a huge, big coffee stain on it. <laughs> Nothing was visible on it actually. And you know, a cold shiver ran through my spine all the worst scenarios coming through my head. Will they let me even get out of the country from here? Even if I made it that far, will the Polish people let me into the country? How will I explain this to my boss? How did I ruin my visa? It was tough. So, once I calmed down, I wrote a very long email to the Polish embassy in Islamabad, describing them my peculiar situation and what they can do for me. After waiting for half an hour, I got impatient, and I called them. And a very nice Polish lady picked up. So I said to her, hi, my name is Dan. I just wrote you a very long email about my situation with the visa. You know, I, I, I spilled some coffee on it. Oh, oh you're the guy. Oh, we were just discussing your situation. You know, I feel like there's nothing about it. Your <laughs> situation. <laughs> But you know, we, we cannot give you another visa because your visa is still valid. You cannot have two visas if you're going to be very valid. <laughs> okay, so do you think I will not have any problem on the uh, uh, entry in Poland? No, no, I assure you they will not say anything. They will just let you in. You will not have any problems at all. Okay, that's very good to hear. What about in Pakistan? Will they let me out? Do you think I'm Pakistani? <laughs> Goodbye. So I spent the next three weeks all nervous and stressed. And finally the day came to go back to the airport. And I went. And I gave my passport again to the border control guy sitting at the Pakistani airport. And he flat out refused. He said, your visa, visa is fake. It's not real. You are trying to trick me. I will not let you go to Poland because if I let you go, they will take my job away. So I will not let you go. You can go back, get another visa, and then come back. I tried to argue with him. So I was just standing there, holding my passport, thinking, how will I tell my boss that I cannot show up to work next day? If I tell him, you know, I, I, I spilled coffee on my visa and they wouldn't let me go now, what would he think? What an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> and I was, you know, going through these thoughts, when I noticed that the guy from the immigration is coming to me, and he's 
slowly walk towards me and then he starts to look at me. Hey, you seem like a nice young man. I think I can help you. Uh, just, I will put a stamp on your passport. I will let you board the plane. If you would just buy me a cup of tea. Oh, that's very nice. That's very awesome of you if you can help me like that. Well, let's go to the cafeteria. I will buy you this cup of tea. No, no, no. Just give me some money and I will buy it myself. <laughs> okay. How much money does a cup of coffee cost? 50,000 rupees. 50,000 rupees? <laughs> calm down, calm down. It's okay. You cannot pay that much. Just give me 20,000 rupees. And if you d scream again, I will never let you go to Borna, ever. <laughs> I was desperate. I gave him 20,000 rupees. To put that into perspective, that's 800 Polish notice. I bought the ex most expensive cup of tea in my life and gave it to someone else. <laughs> but he let me go. He put the stamp on my post, uh, passport. He let me go on the plane. I took the flight. I came to Warsaw. I was still very nervous. Although that kind lady on the phone said that I will not have any problem, I was still not sure. I was still nervous. So I went to the counter and there was another lady. I gave her the passport. She took it. She opened. She looked for the visa. She looked at the visa, then at me, <laughs> and again at the visa, and then she just scanned it, gave it back to me and said, you can go. And I was so relieved, of course, but I was also surprised. She was not even a bit curious how I put that stain on that passport, not even one bit. She didn't even bother to ask me why, why I have such kind of visa. But fortunately, that was the end of the story, and I managed to get to Rostov without any further incident. So you know what I learned from this? First of all, don't drink coffee on the plane. <laughs> it can be horrible. You know what? Don't drink anything on the plane. <laughs> Just go and don't eat. You can eat, but don't drink there on the plane. <laughs> and the second thing, always keep your passport. This is what I do now. Always keep your passport in a plastic bag with waterproof. <laughs> <laughs> Put it inside. Put the seal there so that, you know, no air can go inside. Put it in your backpack. Put that backpack somewhere far from you. <laughs> on the plane, and then just, then you can do whatever you want. Thank you.